Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of smartphones to answer one burning question I've had since the beginning of this year. Is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus still worth buying in 2023? I'm your host, Siobhan Beckford, and I can't wait to explore the specs and see how it holds up against newer devices. Let's get started. Alright folks, here it is, the mighty Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Released all the way back in 2019, this device was a true game changer. But with a rapidly evolving smartphone market, let's see if it can still hold its own against the new kids on the block. First things first, let's talk about the specs. The Note 10 Plus sports a gorgeous 6.8 inch dynamic AMOLED display with vibrant colors and crisp details that still impress to this day. It's powered by the reliable Snapdragon 855 or Exynos 9825 chip, which ensures smooth multitasking and snappy performance. It has a massive 4300 mAh battery. You won't be running to the charger every few hours. The model I have in this video is the international version with Snapdragon 855 CPU, 12GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. The S Pen Oh the S Pen! This nifty stylus is the crown jewel of the Note series, allowing you to jot down notes, sketch and even control your phone remotely. It's a productivity powerhouse. In terms of cameras, the Note 10 Plus boasts a versatile triple camera setup with a primary 12 megapixel shooter, a 12 megapixel telephoto lens, and a 16 megapixel ultra wide lens. You can capture stunning photos and videos in any scenario. Fast forward to 2023 and we have the S23 Ultra boasting 200 megapixels. But how does the Note 10 Plus fare against its successors, like the Galaxy S23 Ultra or even the iPhone 14 Pro Max? Let's compare. The newer models certainly have some advantages, like the improved processing chips, better batteries, or the more refined camera system. However, the differences might not be as significant enough to warrant an immediate upgrade if you already own a Note 10 Plus. If you're someone who cares and craves the latest and greatest, sure, the newer devices might be more enticing, but if you're on a budget or perfectly happy with the Note 10 Plus's performance, it still holds up remarkably well in 2023. Now, let me share my personal experience. I've been using the Note 10 Plus for the past few months, and I must say, it's been an absolute joy. The display is stunning, the S Pen remains as useful as ever, and the overall performance has been solid. I use a lot of social media because I have to stay in touch with my community, and also to share my content to grow the channel. I am not a heavy gamer, but I play a ton of Clash Royale, and this device handles it very well. No lags, clean display, and snappy response. Sure, there are newer features and advancement in the smartphone world, but the Note 10 Plus's timeless design, reliable performance, and feature-rich experience make it a compelling choice even in 2023. A few features I treasure on this device are expandable storage, the large, beautiful display, its long-lasting battery, the S Pen and its features, and the other amazing Android features we know and love such as multi-window and reverse wireless charging. A few features I don't like on this device are no headphone jack, even though this started happening long before 2019 by iPhone, 
and Samsung also removed the heart rate sensor from the Note 10 series. Yes, the S10 series was the last to have the headphone jack and heart rate sensor. So, is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus worth buying in 2023? Absolutely. If you're looking for a premium smartphone experience without breaking the bank, the Note 10 Plus is still an excellent option. It offers a fantastic display, powerful processor, a versatile camera setup, and that iconic S Pen functionality I personally love. Remember, the Note 10 Plus also boasts Samsung's ultrasonic fingerprint reader, which is by far faster and more secure than optical fingerprint readers. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed our discussion, give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel for more exciting tech content like these. And remember, sometimes the classics are still worth considering. Let me know if you guys want to see an in-depth video on the camera system and image quality. Until next time, I'm Siobhan Beckford, stay tech savvy.